Good evening, everybody. Welcome back for another session. Uh, right, today, five times five minutes, two minutes rest. So, not a huge amount of rest. Uh, we started these a little bit lower than I would have probably liked to, but I thought, crikey, if we're going to, well, well, we'll do it like this for now. Um, it's fine. Um, yeah, I was going to start at 20, but it would mean the last sort of two to three would be pretty tough. Uh, especially sort of being five minutes, it, it's deceptive how long it actually takes to knock back that time. Um, obviously, it takes five minutes. Uh, you've got me on that one. Um, but yes, when you're sort of pumping a little bit of rate, it can start to to, get to wear you down quite a bit. Um, and that's why when we get into the later block of this, yeah, we'll, we'll be starting to work reasonably hard. Um, so first of all, it's two, two, one. On the time, so two minutes, two minutes, one minute. Okay, first one starts at 18, 20, 22. So it'll be straightforward as, okay, which means we can give it a good push. We can give it a good send. Um, a little bit, well, maybe try and hit, you know, maybe maybe a split above your training pace that you're normally sort of sitting on for 18 to 20. Uh, and then obviously we have the break. So we after that one, we should be, okay, that's good. I've, you know, body's woken up, ready to do the next one. Uh, we'll, that two minutes will just zip on by, and then it's 20, 22, 24, so we'll be starting to work towards the last sort of minute of that one, um, and then we get into that third one, we're starting to work a bit harder, um, ultimately into that fourth one, and the fifth one's going to be pretty tough, okay? So we build our way up, um, as I say, we're, we're still quite aerobic down the bottom, then we start touching into those mid rates, that mid changeover between aerobic and aerobic sort of uh, threshold. Um, and yeah, just just notice, like, have a look at your splits for all of these. Um, try and match them, okay? Um, you know, ultimately that first one it gives us a good time of what we're doing at 20, 22, and then we try and do the same again, and then we just increase the speed of each each time, okay? So look at the the, the gain you make from each piece. So from the 20 to the 22, how much did you gain? We want to do that from the 22 to the 24. And so forth, okay, um, and it will probably get it slightly a little bit shorter as we get down to that 2830s. But if we can still keep pushing a couple of splits or whatever you sort of can manage, um, perfect, okay. And because it's short, um, we've got to focus for you know a minute and 45 seconds, so we get 15 seconds to get into our pace, get into the rhythm, and then we just hang on to it and we just use the technique and stuff and we count down through that time check. Boom, change your game, okay? And then we've got 15 seconds to get the flow and the rhythm and the speed. Then we lock it in, lock and load, and then we hold that. Uh, and then obviously into that last minute, we want to get onto it even quicker. So if we can do it within 10 seconds, uh, and then, yeah, get really good benefit out of it. So have a bit of a warm-up. Um, hopefully you'll have a warm-up and then start this, but we'll do it in between. Just wondering whether I need to go get more water, but I think I'll be fine. I think I'll be fine. So, yes, we, um, we're we good to go. Um, I'm just going to set up my ERG data, make sure it's all going. Uh, yep, looks like it. Get some music going in the background. And then we're going to be right into it. Here we go. Right, so chuck on your machine. Select workout. New workout. Intervals. Time. Five. Rest time. Two. Two minutes. Done. So... <clears throat> same as same as always, we're looking for that technique and that rhythm. Um, it's just a um, it's just a key to see the changes all the way through and the progress we make between each segment, each set, and each change. Okay, so the whole way through, we want to see good numbers going up. We want to see increasing speed with increasing rate with as least amount of effort as possible, okay? Because we should be still working pretty hard at 18, okay? We should still be using quite a lot of watts. Um, and it's, but it's relative to the rate that we're actually giving it, okay? And so then ultimately, 
you're still pushing the same sort of power when you get up around 24, 26, 28, but you're just doing it quicker. You know, that's all that happens is that on 18, we're still strong, but then on 24, we're just quicker. Okay, so that's the, that's the difference. Right, oh well, let's do this. So I'm set, ready to go. So, first couple of minutes, 18 rating. And then we go up from there. Here we go. Now you're ready. Go. Good patience and flow. Good. Hopefully you got into that rhythm without me having to talk to you about it. Got in the flow. So getting a good, good push of the body. movements. Feeling the hang. Give it a push. Feel the swing. Feel the hands. Try to resist the, the extra pull into the body. Use the power off the front. Getting good speed, and here we go, changing up. Acceleration. your target splits. A few people keep asking. I'm flicking 148. I could probably go a bit harder but I'm trying to iron out my hang. My rhythm around the front. That just gave me another split. Body swing. Your splits are dictated by what you can do. Giving it a good send. Sitting tall. Both feet. Changing up. Now, hang, 
full body workout. Started with the legs. Feel that acceleration. Great. Good first up piece. So getting a good flow, good rhythm. It's all the things that we do, but we can give it a little bit extra on this. So it's a little bit more powerful than what we would be doing if we were doing these for a longer period of time. Okay, so if I had these doing, you know, 12 minutes at some of these rate changes, you might find you're a little bit slower, like a split slower, because ultimately you've got to be able to manage yourself for that period of time. So what we're doing here is we're managing ourselves for five minutes, for five of them, okay? So we don't just want to smash the first one and be like, ah, animals and hit really amazing numbers and then go, crikey, I've got another four to do. We want to be struggling in the last couple, having to switch this on, getting into the right positions, to be able to push the numbers, to know the heart's working hard, the lungs are sucking in the oxygen. Okay? And we just do them one at a time. So don't think about the ones coming later. We're now focused on this 20, 22, and 24. Okay? So you've got 15 seconds to get into your numbers. So I'm going to start to firm. You want to hit your numbers, and we're going to maintain. Here we go. Now. Go. Find the flow. Good, on there. Hang into it. Good momentum. Feel the core. Relax, coming forward. Symmetrical. Good. Feel the rhythm as we change. Now. Good. Good. 
and sit back, body swing, legs drive it back. Good. Good push. Nice rhythm. Feel the hang. Loose. Feel the stretch. Chain take us forward. Good. Ready to change. On this one. Now. More freedom. Good. Feel the push. Elastic length. Good. Nice. Starting to work reasonably hard towards the end of that one. Then down to low 140s. Let's hope I can hold that all the way. So, we've done these rests well before, a while ago. Had a bit longer rest. Uh, I don't think we went up as high, actually, I can't remember. Um, but yeah, normally half time again rest is a good number. So that's going to start to affect us after this next one. So now we just turn our attention to a little bit of active recovery. So not just letting the legs flop down. We can actually feel the connection, hands, legs, lower back. Okay, this gives us the time to think about that change in direction around the front. So feel it now, feel the flex in the ankles, the body coming in and around, hands around the back. We start to firm it a little bit more now. 20 seconds left, breathing, so this one's 22, 24, 26, 2, 2, 1, there we go, straight into 22, now, Feel the body.
Good. Hands around the back. Good pressure. Feel the hang. Change in direction. Coming down for our first change. Now, the acceleration. Tap it along. That flywheel is moving. Move with it. Don't feel it heavy. Feel the relaxation. Sitting tall. Long arms. momentum. One push, one constant pressure. No adding with a jerk of the body. It all opens up smooth. Nice. Relaxation. Breathing. Change. Now. Hands. Momentum. Swing. Body weight. Hold. Good. Well, getting a good sweat on now. It's really good. Good focus. Good rhythm. Holding those points, you know, that we talk about. The hang. This is a full, muscle, full body workout, but it's working for the resistance, okay? So we don't need to build the arms by being tight like that. It's going to be coming because we're actually trying to load through there as much as we can and hold on to it, okay? 
Might be real heavy off the front, obviously. You know, and the legs, they're always working. They're trying to work with this back. You know, pretty much every exercise you do in the gym, you've got to load your core, whether you're trying to do bench press or seated rows, shoulder press, you name it, you've got to use that core, okay? So we're using the core with the legs and the pivoting of that body through the hips, okay? So think of that. People talk about the 11 and 1. So we come back to here. Nice core. We don't want to be way back here because then we've got to get all the way back over, okay? It is tough sometimes because you want to keep the chain moving, but what it means is we need to work this part around the front, okay? So I'm going to start to firm it now. So this is going to be, it's going to start testing us if we're trying to hit the numbers that we've been doing before, okay? From that last set, we're going to have to work for it. Okay, try and hit it if we can. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. So 24, 26, 28. We've got 20 seconds to get to it. Breathe. Give it a good push. And a hang. Nice. Good flow. Speed. Nice rhythm. Feel the zone. Hanging. No tension. Work rest. Listen to the flywheel. Speed in, speed out. Nice. Ready for the change? Here we go. Acceleration. Now, easy speed. Good. Momentum. Breathe. Metronome. Back and forward. Loose arms. Round the front. Pick up. Good movement speed. Now hold. Good rating. Breathing. Minute thirty. Good. 
body weight. Accelerated. Twenty-eight. Here we go. Now. Move the hands. Body. Good. Breathe. Focus. Hang. Finish. And around. Work. Press. Press. Nice. Really, really good rhythm, guys. So, I'm working pretty hard towards the end. I am managing to go one sub 140s of that 28, just for reference, for anyone who wants to know. 138s, 39s. Yeah, I'd like to be quicker, but hey. That's where I'm currently at. So now I've got to do that for this one. So effectively, I'm, when you morbidly work it out, this is going to be about a 640 pace, maybe even quicker, 2K. Okay, so if we were going higher in rate, we'd be expecting to be a little bit even closer to like 6.30s for me. So my average, I'm hoping to get under 140s by the end of it. Okay, that's just me. So I'm not telling you to go too much harder, you know, like you're obviously doing this for fitness and health, well-being or improvement. Just be mindful you've got any issues take care of yourself I don't want to push you into hurting yourself I'm just guiding you through with some of my experience okay so it's going to be five minutes it's going to be tough we need to breathe we need to focus we need to start to build here we go good speed 20 sets now we have to tap it we won't get there We're trying to be strong. Moving the flywheel. Good. Breathing. Float into the front. That change direction. Good. Keep the flow. Acceleration. Work rest. Good. 
Thank you, James. Now, tap. Body. Good. Halfway. Breathe. Swing. Hands. Watch the limit. Breathe. Change in speed. Now. Now hold it. It's only 30 strokes. Hands. Front. Good. Push. All the way. Nice. Oh, pretty certain I could do sub six forty pace at the moment after a good workout so a really good team probably glad I didn't start us at 20 we'd still have one more to go that'd be a killer do that another day this is a good test you know Always, always, I'm talking about increase rate, increase speed, okay? There's a relationship, pretty close. <clears throat> and we get more rate, we get more speed. Okay, to a degree, yes. We have a lot of exceptions to the rule, but general practice, you move the body quicker, you're moving the mass quicker, you're moving the chain quicker, okay? And it is hard get the rate without the acceleration okay so if you are struggling with the rate next time just think okay I've got to be quicker on the front I'm going to take off 5% of that power there and I'm going to put it into the speed of the body the legs pushing the body back okay think about that next time rather than I've got to get the split Okay, big difference. So just hit your menu 
we'll save that into the file. Gives us a good chance to go back and have a look. Nice. So it was around about two, two, two and a bit, two, two and a bit splits average over that whole piece. Then dropping the speeds. Uh, yeah, got less. Bigger jump, two and a half, 2.2, 2.1, and two. So, shit, that's a great, that's actually a great bloody decrease. Uh, so that sort of shows you uh, what happens as you go up and rate the difference in your step becomes less, okay? And hopefully, well, you might see that uh, on your memory if you go back and have a click. But otherwise, great, great workout. You know, you, you can mix this workout, workout up about three or four different ways, okay? So... Keep cooling down if you want. I'll just be able to explain a bit better without puffing. So this type of workout is really easy, okay? It's good, physical, teaches you how to change the rates, that sort of thing. But what you can do is you can either do one, one rating, like one minute at each rating, and so you don't go up as high. Um, you know, you probably only do four sets or something like that. Um, or you can do five sets by going one minute. Just change this to like three or four minutes, okay? So you've got plenty of rest in between. Um, you know, you could even, if you had the time, go five by fives, okay? And then you really recover like a lot, really, really good in between each one. And so you can really try and punch out a really strong and powerful number at each one. And you finish the piece, big, big deep breath and go into it, okay? And then ultimately we could do it in a different way again, where you're building this residual fatigue by only having a one minute rest, okay? And then that's really tough. Um, and you'd notice you're probably nowhere near hitting the splits that you're hitting here, okay? Um, but it, it, in each way, it teaches your body different things, you know, how to perform under the less recovery and then how to perform with really good recovery, um, you know? And so all these different repeats that we do they all have different meanings for that reason, okay? Um, and today was pretty, I'd say, medium. Um, you know, medium to high with only having two minutes rest and going up to where we did. If we'd started higher and had two minutes rest, yeah, we would have been really, really working out. And as you see, these are these are fantastic workouts, uh, especially this one. You can you can do this one as well as like if we do distances. If you're building up to a 2K test, do four 2K repeats, okay? Um, have three or four minutes in between each one. I'd say four minutes, okay? Break them into 500s. And so by the time you hit your last piece, you're probably two splits of rating below what you would be. So you're not getting right to your max, like race pace. You're building it down a little bit, okay? So if race pace, round number 36, Basically, the last set's going to be 34, 32, 30, 28, okay? And you'll find that you'll actually do a reasonable time because you're, like, you're really pushing it. You're trying to get the rhythm, and that second thousand will actually be reasonably quick, okay? If you're trying to aim for, like, say, 610, 620, uh, you know, uh, yeah. So let's say if, you, if you're aiming for six, 610, uh, sorry, yeah, 610, you're trying to hold, like, a 132 split, there or thereabouts, 132 and a half. Uh, you might find that by the time you hit that 34, you're actually pushing up around sort of 134, 133. So you're not that far off it. So when you actually go back in the in the clock and have a look at it, you've probably done a sub 6:30 paced 2k, and you have done three workouts before it, and you're like, crikey, actually, it's not bad. Um, you know, and then ultimately you can really push the limits from that and go, okay, so if I just had to solely hold 132s the whole way, I'm pretty confident that I could, okay, because I'm puffed, I've already done three, this is my fourth 2K, and I'm getting the last thousand, and I'm just trying to hit the numbers, I'm fatigued, so you're tired, you don't have a huge amount of lactate buildup, but 
you just feel weak, like you don't have it, and so you've got to focus that technique, that swing, that speed, that acceleration, uh, to hold that split, the breathing, the focus, and you'll push through it, and then you'll be like, finished it, and go, well, and then you'll have a look at what time you actually did, and you'll be like, wow, I'm only 20 seconds or, or even quicker shy of what I want to do in 10, 15 days' time or whatever your 2K is. So it's, those are a brilliant workout, very similar to these. Um, you know, we used to do both. Uh, like obviously, with what I'm doing here, I can't do distance because a lot of you will finish way before me, um, and then a lot of you will finish way after me. So uh, it's, it's just weighing it up. That's why we have to try and do a lot of time stuff. Uh, which works in really well. Okay, so that's it from me. I am going. I need some more shirts, eh? Because these are just getting hammered from the sweat. Um, but that's all good. And I've got a bit of ice in my water that hasn't quite melted. Ah, amazing ice water. It's beautiful. Okay, awesome work, guys. Everyone, thank you for subscribing. Keep following. Share it to your mates. Plenty to come, plenty to come. And keep watching out for a sensei, a sensei. Keep watching out for it. it's coming.